Hi there guys, I'm Nikhil from Grady Tech and in this video, I'll be showing you all the best features of the OnePlus 7 Pro. By the way guys, I've already made a dedicated video for the tips and tricks section where I've talked about many things which I won't be covering in this video. So definitely check out that video, link will be in the description. Now with that said, the most highlighting feature about this phone, or at least the most noticeable one, is the pop-up selfie camera. This phone has a 16 megapixel front-facing camera with Sony IMX471 sensor with f2.0 aperture. Now this pop-up mechanism has been tested over 300,000 times, so it's pretty reliable. This phone even has smart draw protection, which automatically retracts the pop-up camera whenever it detects a fall. Even though this phone doesn't have any IP rating, this pop-up camera is also water and dust resistant, which is a pretty great thing for all people like me who are worried about water resistance for this phone. Now the next best thing about this phone would definitely be its display. This phone has a 6.67 inch fluid AMOLED display with Quad HD plus resolution with 90Hz refresh rate. Now the display on the OnePlus 7 Pro is not just a regular display, at least when compared to the previous OnePlus phones. To start off, there is no notch and the bezels are quite slim all around. It even has curved displays just like on the Samsung phones. It also has Quad HD plus resolution, it is the first time for OnePlus phone and finally it's also a 90Hz display which makes all the animations and transitions look buttery smooth. You probably can't say from the video but if you use it in person, you can definitely notice the difference between a regular 60Hz display and a 90Hz display. So overall, display on this phone is really good and definitely worth the price. Now the next best feature on the OnePlus 7 Pro is its in-display fingerprint scanner. Just like the previous generation, even this phone has an in-display fingerprint scanner. But now, it is super fast. It is definitely faster than the OnePlus 6T and it is the fastest in-display fingerprint scanner I have ever used so far. So here's a quick sample. Next, this phone also packs in a lot of performance. Just like its predecessors, even this phone packs the latest processor from Qualcomm, that's the Snapdragon 855 chip with Adreno 640 GPU. Even the base variant comes with 6GB of LPDDR4X RAM with 128GB of UFS 3.0 storage. These are the Anti2 and Geekbench scores. So when it comes to performance, everything was buttery smooth and didn't notice any kind of lag and literally no matter what you throw at it, whether it's games, PUBG or anything else, it will run very smoothly. Now the next major upgrade or the next best thing about this phone would be warp charging. All the previous OnePlus phones came with a regular 20W dash charger. While this phone comes with a 30W warp charger and it is even faster. Even though this phone has a massive 4000 mAh battery, this warp charger can get you 96% of battery in just one hour. Next, we also get the super fast face unlock feature. Just like all the previous OnePlus phones, even this phone supports face unlock feature and it is insanely fast. You just have to wait for the pop-up camera to open. There are many phones out there with a pop-up camera mechanism that also support face unlock feature and out of all of them, face unlock is the fastest on the OnePlus 7 Pro. There are two ways to use it, either you can use it by default so whenever you press the power button or when the display wakes up, face unlock works or else you can choose to swipe up the lock screen to make it work. Personally, I like the fingerprint scanner, it's also super fast so I ended up not using face unlock at all. Now the next best thing about this phone would definitely be its cameras. This phone has a 48 megapixel primary camera with Sony IMX586 sensor with f1.6 aperture. It also has electronic image stabilization and optical image stabilization. These are some sample pictures. Now the pictures from the primary camera are pretty good, but if you use the Google's camera application, then you will get even better pictures. Next, this phone has an 8 megapixel secondary camera with f2.4 aperture and telephoto lens with optical image stabilization. Because of the telephoto lens, this phone offers 3x optical zoom with optical image stabilization. Next, we also have a wide-angle camera. This phone has a 16 megapixel ultra-wide-angle camera with f2.2 aperture, giving it 117 degree field of view. These are the sample shots. Yeah. 
Now going on next, this phone also supports 4K video recording at 60fps and here's the sample footage. Next, this phone also supports slow motion video recording. We can record video at 1080p resolution at 240fps and at 720p resolution at 480fps. At least as of now, there is no support for 960fps. Next, this phone also has dual stereo speakers, which is powered by Dolby Atmos. OnePlus 7 Pro is also the first phone from OnePlus to support dual stereo speakers and they do sound pretty loud and pretty good. Here's a quick audio sample. Next, we also get a brand new haptic vibration motor on this phone. Haptic feedback on previous OnePlus phones up to OnePlus 60 were pretty bad. While on this phone, it's definitely good and way better than all other previous OnePlus phones. It's not as good as the Pixel phones, Samsung flagships or even the iPhones, but it is still pretty good and a pretty good upgrade. Next, we have Fanatic Mode, which is an exclusive feature for just this phone. It can get rid of all your distractions while gaming. You can quickly enable it or launch it even while playing a game and it allows you to block all incoming call notifications and it turns your phone into a professional gaming device. Next we have Zen mode. You can access it from the notification toggles and once you enable this feature, it will literally not allow you to do anything for the next 20 minutes. Even if you restart your phone in those 20 minutes, it still takes you to the Zen mode. If you want to meditate for some time or put your phone down for some time, just give this a try. Next we have a screen recorder built into the phone. Whether you want to just record your screen for a random purpose or for a tutorial or if you want to record your game, then you can do all that from your phone with a built-in feature. You can access it from the toggles. You can also change the resolution, bitrate, you can even change the audio source and set video orientation. Next we have the famous alert slider. Just like on all the previous OnePlus phones, even on this phone, we still get the alert slider. We have three modes, silent, vibration and ring. You can further configure each mode from settings. Using this alert slider, you can change to different modes without even looking at your phone. This is a very unique feature that's available only on the OnePlus phones. Unlike most flagships, this phone has dual SIM support along with dual 4G and dual LTE. And it even supports native video calling. Now going on next, this phone also has support for portrait mode for both front and rear cameras. These are some sample shots. Next we have Nightscape. Now this is a dedicated night mode in the default camera application that allows you to take better pictures even in low lighting conditions. These are some sample pictures. Next we have three different types of navigation gestures. Now this is the three button layout we have been seeing from ages. Now this navigation bar gives you some unique features. First we can hide this navigation bar. Once you hide it, you can bring it back just by doing a swipe up gesture from the bottom of the screen. Once you press any button, it hides automatically. When you go to the home screen, navigation bar is once again visible all the time. Whenever you open any application, it hides automatically. Next, we can also swipe the back and recent apps button if you're using this navigation bar. Next, we can also assign shortcuts for these buttons for long press actions. I use the back button to open split screen mode on this phone. Next, we have pixel-like gestures. Now this gives us a brand new navigation bar with just two buttons, back and home. 
Now these buttons act normally. You can press the back button to go back and press the home button to go home. But if you want to see the recent apps, you need to swipe up on the home button and you can get the recent apps. You can also swipe the home button towards the right side to switch between applications very quickly. Now if you're using this layout, there is no recent apps button. So to open split screen mode, I can just long press the back button to open split screen mode. Now finally, we have the navigation gestures. Now once you enable them, navigation bar is completely hidden. Now if you want to go home, swipe from the center. For recent apps, swipe and hold. To go back a step, swipe up from the left side or right side. Now if you want to quickly switch between the present application and the previous application, you can do a swipe right gesture from the bottom center. Next, we can also trigger Google Assistant with the power button. Now if you're using these navigation gestures, there are no buttons, so you can't press the home button to trigger Google Assistant. In this case, just enable this feature and long press the power button to trigger Google Assistant. You can press and hold the power button for 3 seconds for power options. Next we have flip to mute. Now once you enable this feature, you can just flip your phone to mute an incoming call. Next we have answer call by gesture. Now once you enable this feature, you can answer a call just by placing the phone near your ear. Next we have some screen off gestures. First one would be double tap to wake. Now once you enable this feature, as the name suggests, you can just double tap the screen to wake it up. If you are already using face unlock feature on this phone, you can just double tap the screen to wake it up, then your front camera will see your face and then it will immediately unlock the phone. Overall it gives you a very immersive experience. Next we have music controls. Now once you enable this feature, you can draw less than or greater than symbols when the screen is off to play the previous or next songs and then draw two parallel lines to play or pause music. And you also have more gestures to do different actions based on your requirement. Next we have three finger screenshot. Now before I show you how to use that, let me show you how to take a screenshot on this phone. Just press the volume down and power button both at the same time and your phone will take a screenshot. For some reason, if that's a bit difficult for you, you also have this three finger screenshot gesture. Once you enable it, you can just swipe down using three fingers to take a screenshot. This is definitely my favorite way to take a screenshot. Next we have long screenshot. Let's say you want to take a long screenshot of this web page. Then this is what you need to do. First take a regular screenshot. You can either use the buttons or the three finger screenshot gesture. Once you do that, you will see a preview and now click on the button that says expanded screenshot. Once you do that, your phone will automatically scroll through the page and at the end, it will give you a long screenshot. Next we have some quick launch shortcuts for the fingerprint scanner. Once you enable this feature, in the lock screen, you can touch and hold the fingerprint scanner. Even after the phone unlocks, just keep holding it and you will see some quick shortcuts. Now you can swipe your finger left or right to switch between these applications and release the finger to open that particular application. You can also swipe down to close the application. Now from these settings, you can save your quick shortcuts. Next we have fingerprint animations. Now right out of the box this is the default animation that we get whenever we use the fingerprint. Besides that we have a total of 3 animations. Cosmos, Wave and Stripes. And you can use the one based on your preference. By the way guys fingerprint scan on this one is super fast so most of the time you won't even see the animation completely. Next we have gaming mode. Now this feature gives you tons of options like it gives you the option to answer calls via speaker block all banner notifications and all the notifications in general, disable auto brightness, it can even boost the network for a lag free experience. It also has some advanced features like game display enhancement and haptic feedback enhancement. Next we have parallel apps. Now this feature allows you to use two instances of the same application. Let's say if you want to use two Facebook accounts, two Instagram accounts or two WhatsApp accounts on the same phone, then this feature will allow you to do that. Usually social media applications like Facebook, Instagram and WhatsApp support this feature but OnePlus has also added few additional apps like Paytm, Uber and many more. Next we have Night Mode. You can access it from the display settings and once you enable it, it puts a warm tint on the screen and filters the blue light. It can even darken the screen further to make the display more comfortable to use at night. You can either enable it and disable it manually or schedule it to automatically turn on and turn off at a specific time or from sunset to sunrise. Next we have reading mode. Now reading mode on this phone is pretty unique. Once you enable this feature, your phone will automatically adjust the screen color temperature and make the display much more comfortable to read. You can either turn it on manually or schedule it to automatically turn on for few specific applications say like Amazon Kindle or Google's Playbooks. It can also block peak notifications or heads up notifications which can be quite annoying especially while reading. Next we have ambient display. 
even though this phone comes with an AMOLED display, OnePlus is still not offering us always on display. Instead, OnePlus offers ambient display which simply lights up the screen every time you get a notification. It will just display your time, date and notification icons. From these settings, you can also change the clock style and even display a custom message. You can configure the ambient display to show up every time you pick up your phone or whenever you touch the display or whenever you get a notification. Now going on next, OnePlus also offers us three different themes. First we have colorful which changes the notification area depending upon the wallpaper and the settings page looks a bit more colorful. Next we have light where everything has a light background. And the final one is black which is my favorite one which changes the background to completely black or dark. Dark mode in specific looks cooler, helps you save some battery and strains your eyes less at night. For all the three themes, you can also change the accent colors. You can either select a color or even give a color code. Next we have some launcher based gestures. If you are using the stock launcher from OnePlus, you have some cool gestures and you can tweak them from the launcher settings. On your home screen, you can do a swipe down gesture to pull down the notification bar. You can double tap in an empty area to put the phone to sleep. And finally, you can do a swipe up gesture to open the app drawer. Next, we can also switch audio output device on this phone. It's a very unique feature on an Android phone and personally, I love it. Let's say a Bluetooth headset is connected to your phone and you're watching a video. Now, if you want to hear the audio from the speakers instead of disconnecting the Bluetooth, you can change the audio output device by using the volume buttons. Next, we can also record calls automatically on this phone. You just need to go to the phone dialer and just enable the toggle and then you can record calls automatically on this phone. As of now, this feature is available in India but might not be available in other countries. So if you can't find this feature on your phone, try to use some third party application. Next we have App Locker built into the phone. If you have any applications that hold sensitive information like net banking applications or payment based apps like Paytm, Google Pay or Phone Pay, you can lock all those applications using this feature. It's a nice feature but has very limited options. If you're an advanced user, I'll suggest you to use a third party application. Next we have Schedule On and Off. Now this feature allows you to automatically turn on your phone and even turn it off at a specific time on a specific day. You can configure all that from these settings. Next we have OnePlus Switch. Now this feature or an application will allow you to move all your information from your previous phone to your brand new OnePlus phone. You can transfer all your contacts, messages, photos, videos and audio files and if it's an Android phone, you can even transfer your applications. Using this application, you can also create a backup copy of all your data. So guys, these are all the best features. If I missed out on anything important, do let me know by commenting below this video. If you're planning to buy this phone, use the link in the description. It always helps the channel. If you want us to make any specific video, tweet out to us with the hashtag AskGreedyTech on Twitter and we will try to make it as soon as possible. I'm Nikhil from GreedyTech signing off. Have a nice day.